and welcome from a super rainy London where today we are taking a look at the i5 Pro X2 8GB memory stick. And initially when I got this I kept thinking, what's the fuss about? I mean what's the real difference between you know this new i5 card and my standard card and also what's the hassle between taking out my standard card and plugging it into my computer? Well Having now had a chance to play with this little orange SD card, I get it. I still get it. Essentially the two memory sticks look exactly the same. But the main difference is this one is Wi-Fi. What you do is you plug it into your camera, like this. And essentially you take your pictures and then you can upload them, the JPEG and the RAW files, directly into your computer or directly onto a, a photo site like Flick and there's about 25 different ones to choose from. Oh, and it's just uploading the picture um, I took a minute ago, which is cool. Now in terms of capacity, I will probably store around 4,000 photographs and 180 minutes of video footage. Apparently the transfer speed is class 6, um, which to those techie bods amongst us um, means that it has a read write speed of around 6 megabytes per second. Now it's not the fastest transfer speed in the market, but it's pretty fast. So installing the whole iFi manager is really simple. It comes with uh, a USB stick. So you plug your card into the stick, pop it into your computer, and then bang, the installation process kicks off. Now, in terms of transferring photographs over the Wi-Fi, I will say when you're at home, you can take your camera, um, snap away, and obviously it will upload pretty swiftly. Alternatively, if you are out and about, you can wirelessly transfer photographs over a truly public uh, Wi-Fi hotspot. Uh, you can also geotag pictures. And my favourite feature of this whole card is essentially what they call their endless memory card, uh, endless memory feature. So that essentially you can take photographs and as soon as they are uploaded onto your computer it will delete them from your stick. So you no, need, you no longer need to worry about um, you know, running out of memory space on the go. Now, in terms of bugbears, uh, the cost it does cost around £120, so that's quite expensive. Um, I'm not quite sure how many truly open wireless hotspot access points there are and also when I want to view photos that I've taken uh, it seems to default to a Nikon package um, and it doesn't seem to be an easy way to change that to Photoshop. So those bugbears aside, I really do think this is a great piece of kit for a photographer. So there you have it, the iFi X2 Pro 8GB all the way from rainy London.